Today we're going to be making our own ish drawings. But first I want to talk to you about an artist called Pablo Picasso. He was a cubist, a movement that was in the early 1900s. And he was from Spain, which is part of Europe, which is across the ocean from where we live. Now the cubist style can be described as kind of broken up looking. Artists looked at different parts of objects and when they put them back together, they looked kind of abstract or maybe not realistic. This was revolutionary because people started making art that didn't quite look like reality. And that was invigorating and exciting. What I really like about cubism is that it's really about looking at the world around you. And then whatever happens on the paper is kind of a product of that. So we're gonna be doing a type of drawing called a blind contour. And what it is, is that you're going to be only looking at the object and not looking at your paper. So let me show you what that looks like. If you don't have a paper in front of you, please pause now because we're going to need a piece of paper that we're going to fold into fours. You're going to fold the paper in half, matching up your corners, holding on that opened end of the paper and creasing down the paper. After that, unfold it again so that the fold the book side or the inside of the book looks at you and then fold it the other way, holding down the edge and flattening down that crease. All right, you're going to decide if you would like your paper to be horizontal or vertical. So it is up to you. Maybe think about what you might be looking at to draw. So if there's a lot of tall things you might draw, you might want to do it vertical like me. You need a pencil and you also need a marker. The pencil is just for um, our practice one. We're gonna be using the marker for the real ones. If you don't have a marker, just promise me that you're not gonna erase. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So decide what the front and the back are gonna be. And we're going to do a practice one or you can just watch my practice one with a pencil. So I'm on the back for my practice one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to be looking at an object and you're going to be drawing it without looking at the paper. What? That seems kind of hard. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna draw this little bottle of hand sanitizer. There's a top and a bottom to it. So what I'm gonna do is to make sure I don't get lost I am going to decide if I want to start at the top or the bottom of the hand sanitizer. I think I'll start at the top. And then I will look to where I'm placing my pencil, but then I'm only going to look at the hand sanitizer. And with my eyes, I'm going to follow along the edge of the hand sanitizer and try to get all the outlines that make up its form. I am not looking at my paper. I'm just in my mind following what I think should be where things go. I'm also not lifting my pencil because I don't want to get lost. So if I have to make lines that don't actually exist to get to somewhere else on the object, that's okay. <laughs> okay. So there's my hand sanitizer. It doesn't look quite like my hand sanitizer, but honestly, if it kind of looks funny, that means you did it right. All right. So for our real drawings, I like to fold my paper back so that way only one of my rectangles is showing. It is up to you if you want to do that. But you're going to draw objects from around your house and you're going to do them as a blind contour. So here are the rules again. You can place your pen and that's the only time you can look at the start. You should be using a marker or pen so you can't erase. Look at your paper, put your pen down, stop looking at your paper and start drawing by just looking at the object. I am not picking up my marker. So I'm drawing these kind of in between lines to get to the next shape. This video is sped up a little bit, so you can draw a little bit slower, but I'm only drawing the contour lines, the outlines that make up the form. So you know what my thing is and do you know what this is? It's my door. Kind of look like a door. I think I got most of the shapes in there. I'm going to make sure that my next front panel is showing. Fold back the other ones. 
and I'm gonna look at something else. Look and place my pen, and then I'm not gonna look at my paper again. So I'm looking at my object, I'm following it with my eyes, and I'm having my mind tell me where the marker should go. Very fluid. Using lines to connect. That one was pretty good. I think because I kind of just let myself draw and didn't think too much and just did it, I think that turned out a little better. All right, what else can I do? Looking around my room, once I find an object, decide where I'm gonna start. Top of the object, top of my paper. Once again, I'm not looking at my paper. And I'm just doing the main outlines. I am not picking up my marker. Oop, there you go. Okay, one more. Let's see. Got another object. Okay, make sure I'm on the front still. And looking at the object, after I look once to place my pen, and then I'm going to study the object, trace it with my eyes, not look at my paper. Ooh, and there's that. You can usually tell if a blind contour is done correctly because they look pretty fluid. They are supposed to be kind of loose. They're supposed to be ish drawings. So go ahead and name your blind contours, scissor-ish, door-ish, whatever you drew ish and then draw a little box around the actual name you gave it and then I want you to design a little frame for it use different kinds of lines to match kind of like the character of the thing you drew because your ish drawing deserves to have its own title its own frame it should stand out in this gallery of ish drawings as unique a drawing that was made from your hand freely, trusting your mind and what it saw, and created something that you probably couldn't recreate by looking. Something that was completely ish. So now that you have your ish drawings, you are done. If you'd like to, you can paint or color in. I encourage you to do it though, in an ish kind of fashion. So you could blind paint if you want to, or just fluidly paint or draw, add texture you see, but keep it loose, keep it ish. Make it about studying the colors, the textures. Like Ramon, try to be free. Try to enjoy what you're doing. Try to pick things that you like, make movements that feel great when you're making and drawing and coloring. This is about having the freedom to make an ish drawing and being really proud of it. So when you're done with your ish gallery of ish masterpieces, make sure that you take a photo, turn it into your teacher however they want you to turn it in, and take a step back and really enjoy the power of ish. I hope you enjoyed making our ish drawings today. And until next time, have fun creating.